hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will convert this isometric drawing into the 3d model with the help of a part design workbench before starting this tutorial if you like my method of teaching then you can support me on coffee.com your small support will help this channel to grow you can find my donation page link on my channel header and in a video description you can also visit my website macnexus.com where I write the articles and tutorials on a free CAD and here I also cover the other open source CAD software. So let's start our tutorial. So as per our uh, drawing view we will uh, create a new file and create a new body. Now we will uh, select this uh, XY plane and we will draw our base profile. So I will select this and uh, create a sketch. And now I will uh, draw a rectangle and I will delete these two. or I can use the slot tool as well so I will use the slot tool because it will take less time so I will uh, draw a slot now I will delete the conflict constraint and uh, this slot radius is R40 so first I will make this and this equal I think these are the already equal here and now I will give the radius 40 and uh, center to center distance is a uh, 60 here so I will select the center and I will select this and I will give it a 30 now I will uh, move my dimension so this is our uh, base profile now we will extrude it to the 40 mm so I will close it and uh, I will click on the pad and here I will give the 40 mm and I will say ok now we will create this boss here so I will select the face and uh, create a sketch now I will uh, project this arc and uh, this is the 40 and this is the 20 now I will select the three point arc and I will draw an arc and I will make these and these uh, equal then again I draw an arc and I will connect these two arc with line and I merge the center and this inner one is R20 so I will give here the 20 and I will move my dimension here okay. now I will switch to the isometric and the total uh, height is a 30 which we can see here so I will close my sketch click on the pad and I will give here the 30 mm and I will say ok and now we will uh, create these two side plates so I will select the face create a sketch and I will uh, project the geometry and uh, 
height is 30 so it is a 30 by 30 and here is angle 45 is given so I will uh, draw a line I will draw a line here and I will close it and angle is a 45 so I will give the 45 degree angle our sketch is fully constrained now I will close it and I will give the pad I will uh, select here reverse direction and now this uh, <coughs> thickness is a uh, this is the 80 this is a 60 so it is a 10 mm I will say ok now I will uh, mirror this pad on the other side so I will select the pad click on the mirror tool and from here I will select the select reference and I will select this mid plane and I will say ok now here is a cut so I will uh, on my plane and I will select my exit plane and uh, create a sketch and now I will uh, draw a rectangle now I will make this coincidence and from this edge it is a 20 so I will project this edge and now I will give the vertical dimension which is a 20 and this this is a 30 so I will make it uh, symmetric select this point this point and I will resolve this conflict now I will give the dimension better I hide my plane now I will click on the smart dimension tool and this is the 30 so I have drawn it on my plane now I will extrude it on the both the side I will close it select my sketch and click on the cut tool and I will say two, di two dimension or what if I select the through all so if I select the through walls then it is on the only one side so I will select the two dimensions and uh, here I give 100 and 100 and I will say ok now here is the two counter bore holes so I will select the face and uh, create a sketch I will project this and this and here I will uh, draw the two circles and uh, I will make this two equal and I will give the dimension so we are going to use the whole feature so but I will give the exact size which is the 40 
so diameter is a 40 so it is a will be the 20 and I will close it now I will select on the whole feature so the through hole is a dia 20 so I will give here dia 20 and from here I will select the counter bore now I will rotate my model so this is the 40 so I will give here the 40 40, 20 and the depth of this uh, 40 is a 10 which we can see here so I will give here the 10 and I will say ok so this is how to make the control bore holes in a free cat and this is how we have uh, successfully converted this isometric drawing into the 3d model with the help of a part design workbench and this tutorial is designed for the beginner user and uh, I will provide the source file and uh, this 2d drawing in the video description so any beginner user can practice with uh, this isometric drawing and in the case of any doubt the user can refer my 3d models and uh, at last we can assign some color to our part from here but I will give here the chrome and I will close it so this is all about this tutorial and this tutorial designed for the beginner user I will come with more useful tutorial like this on free cat please give your valuable suggestion in a comment section of this video thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time